Now I want to go back to the remaining issue with our model. As we can see, it animates nicely when it's mounted, but when we remove it from the component tree, it just disappears. To animate components as they are removed from the React tree, we can use Exit property together with Animate Presence component. So let's see them in action. I'll open Model component and add Exit property to the overlay div. Exit property describes the animation which will run before component is unmounted. It expects an object with animatable properties or a name of the variant, much like initial and animate props. Here we want to fade out the overlay when it unmounts, so we need to set its opacity to zero. We already have hidden variant that does that, so we can just set exit property to hidden. I'll set exit to hidden for model panel as well, because panel variants already has a variant that will slide the panel down and off screen. The last thing that we need to do is open home component, import animate presence from frame emotion, and wrap the parts of the code that conditionally renders the model into animate presence. Now I can save the changes and confirm that when we close the model, we can see exit animation before component is removed from the React tree. Alright, next let's take a look at another good use case for exit animations. We're going to use them to animate items inside the carousel component. But first, let's open it and explore how it works. Inside the carousel, we render images in portrait, landscape and square formats. And for that we use different components that are defined in this array. We use index states to indicate which component from that array should be rendered. And when we click left and right arrows, we either decrease or increase that index so the next component gets rendered. To make sure we stay within the array bounds, we use wrap function that resets index to zero when we reach the end of the array or sets it to the last index when we reach the beginning of it. Right now there is no transition when components inside carousel change, so let's create a new animation where the previous component will slide out of the view as the new one will slide in its place. We'll start by creating variants for this animation. I'll import motion, animate presence and variants from frame of motion and create a new variable called variants. We'll need to define three different variants this time. One for the animation state before entering, one for when component has entered and it's fully visible, and one for the exiting state. So I'm going to add enter property that will set initial opacity to zero and place element 500 to the right. Then I'll add visible property and set X to zero and opacity to one so that the element is in the right position. And for exit animation, I'll set X to minus 500 and opacity to zero so that the element will fade out to the left. Now let's set motion prefix to carousel item and connect the variance by setting variance prop to variance, initial to enter, animate to visible, and exit to exit. To make sure that the exit animation runs, we'll add animate presence component and put carousel item inside of it. Now if we save the changes and open the model, we can see the initial animation when carousel item is mounted, but no animation when we start cycling through different formats. The reason for it is that once carousel item is mounted, it stays unchanged. It doesn't have any properties that change between renders, so React doesn't have to remove and add it back to the components tree. However, if we set key property on the carousel item to the current index, then this element will have to be removed and added to the React tree every time index changes. We can save the changes and open our carousel to confirm that it works now. Next, let's adjust transition for the animation. We already know how to do that, so let's add transition property on the carousel item and set its type to twin. We want this transition to apply to all variants, so we define it on the motion element and not on individual variants as we've done before. Let's save the changes and now the carousel animation looks a lot better. Animate presence component has a few properties that we can use to customize enter and exit animations. For instance, when we open the model, the initial sliding animation looks unnecessary, and we can easily suppress it by setting initial to false on animate presence component. With that change, we don't get the sliding animation on the first render, but it still works when we cycle through the carousel items. Another property of animate presence is called exit before enter. If you've noticed, when we transition between carousel items, the current item slides out 
at the same time as the new one slides in. If we set exit before enter property to true, frame of motion will run enter animation only after exit animation has finished. We don't want this effect in our case, so I'll go ahead and remove it. There is still one issue with the carousel that makes it look unnatural. Whether we cycle through items forward or backward, the animation is always the same. Current item slides out to the left, new one slides in from the right. It would be better to make this animation direction aware, so that the items would slide in from the same direction that we navigate in. We'll come back and fix this issue once we learn how to create custom variants.